handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from Belmont Park here on Sunday. It is the 18th of June 2023. Gonna look at the stakes races on the program from Belmont, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And I mean around the world. Remember to go check out my French Oaks to Pre to Diane um, video I have up here on YouTube for um, Shanti here for today. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be a very good French Oaks. I think you can make some money with that one. And also join me for my Royal Ascot previews. That's going to be an exciting week, so I hope you check that out. But uh, today's card from Belmont, it's, it's very good. Um, I love the, the, the Before I get any further, we're going to look at the 5th and 8th race, New York Stallions races. But I, I, I can't wait for the first race. And there's that first time starter for Todd Pletcher, one on tap, that Philly. I want to see what she does because, you know, just going over her workout, she looks like she could be a freak. Um, I don't think she's going to be as freak as that Donical horse that won that 5th race yesterday where I read almost fell off like five times in the race. But... Uh, you know, uh, you know, I can't wait for that first race. It's going to be exciting to see that two-year-old. But, um, but that we're going to look at um, the, the stakes race here for YouTube, though. Races five and eight. Uh, the fifth race from Belmont, it is New York Stallions um, series. It's it going for a purse of $150,000. Race for three-year-olds here, state breads. We have a field of 11 horses entered. 11 horse is an MTO, so 10 will go to the Widener. The distance of ground, 1,400 meters, or seven furlongs in the Widener turf course. I'm going to take here the number 8 horse, 26 black. I'm going to go 8, 5, 4, 6 in the Super Facta. 8, 5, 4, 6 Super. Top selection 8 horse, um, 26 black. 3 old Colt by War Dancer. Horacio de Paz trains. Manny Franco gets the mount. The horse's most recent outing came five weeks ago on the 13th of May at uh, Belmont. Uh, six furlongs in her turf course in the State Brown Lounge race for 80,000. And the horse went by four and three quarter lengths that day, and he broke sharp that day out of the gate a little bit wide, but when he had the turn of foot, he took off clear. Coming home with an 81 buyer, he definitely improved. Coming here to stakes quality horses, not the world's deepest stakes quality group, I think he has the speed or even the, the uh, tracking ability to get to the wire first here today. Two back on the 7th of April at Aqueduct, first start off the bench, six frongs in a main special weight. He won by a neck that day, and he sat back early. He, he moved a little bit wide late, but he, he timed the race perfectly, quickened up nicely, Nothing bad about that run. Keep in, mind, keep in mind, he was a next start winner, and the third place finisher was a next start winner. And then prior to that, at um, at Saratoga and the debut, 27th of July, five and a half on the Mellon Main Special Weight, he finished third by four and a quarter lengths that day. And he just, you know, kind of stalked. He had to leave for a split second, but then he just kind of hung there a little bit late. It wasn't his day to win. You know, coming here today, you know, he, he should get a good trip. I'm going to use him on the ticket. I think his second likeliest winner is the five horse gem mint 10 um for dylan davis and ray handle ray handle is having a great season here at belmont a great year in general and dylan davis had a very slow start to the belmont meeting but is really picking up uh this past week um but yeah i believe he got two or three win winners yesterday uh but um this um gin gem mint 10 most recently ran the 14th of may at belmont a mile on the widener in a main special uh, or an allowance race and she finished second by half a length that day she was a little bit wide and she got caught at the wire don't know if she wants to go the mile. I think cutting back to seven is really going to do her better. Two back on the uh, 7th of April going six in the main special way at, Belmont, at Aqueduct. She won by one quarter lengths, and she sat back early, a little bit wide, but she got the job then in the turf debut. The, the dirt races weren't anything to call home about, but since coming to the green stuff, she's really become a better horse. Since coming to Belmont, and, you know, she hasn't run bad at all. Coming here at four to one, she could definitely win. I'll use her on the ticket to end off the pick five. Uh, but to recap my selection for the fifth from Belmont now, it's New York Stallion's going to take the eight horse, 26 black. Give kudos to the five horse, Gem Mint 10. 8546 super 85 in your multi race let's get over to race number Eight from Belmont. The eighth race, it is New York Stallions series again. It's going for a purse of $150,000. This time is for the three-year-old Philly State Breads. Field of 10 horses, excuse me, a field of 11 horses going 1,400 meters or seven furlongs on the widener. I'm going to go with the eight horse Le, Le Bon Temps as a top selection. I'm going to go 8397 in the Superfecta. 8397 Super. Top selection, eight horse Le Bon Temps. Three-year-old Philly by Loban here. Linda Rice trains. Jose Ortiz gets mount first time turf. Most recently, horse ran horribly in the Bowery at Belmont. Seven frongs, 29th of May. She finished fifth by 20 and a quarter lengths that day. She didn't break so well, which probably cost her on the very warm day. She was behind the A-ball uh, and she just kind of hit the wall. It wasn't a day to win. Coming to the turf, 
she looks like she could kind of a good um, tracking trip, which I don't think should be half bad. And, uh, you know, I think her running style should suit it. And she could run a good race here today. I think something, switching it up with her is going to be a good change of scenery for her. Uh, Linda Rice doesn't have the best number of stakes. To, uh, turf to dirt with, um, uh, or dirt to turf, uh, dirt dirt to turf with um, stakes squad horses. But, uh, you know, I, I think this one could, uh, you know, make the ROI better. Um, two back in New York Sounds at Aqueduct on the mud, six and a half on the 20th of April, or 20th. 3rd of April. She finished second by a nose, and she sat back early. She just missed the late, but because the other horse um, was coming out on this one late, they placed her up. I think it was a smart choice to, to uh, move her up, because she was moving like a winner at the top of the lane. And then the East View at Aqueduct, 6 Funks, 24th of March, finished 3rd by 9 three quarter lengths that day. She just never really got into it. Keep in mind, though, the 1, 2, and 3 all out of that race were next on winners. And then the Maddie May at Aqueduct, 1 mile 19th of February. She finished 2nd by 1 quarter lengths that day. She didn't break so well. She moved a little bit late, but the winner just had the jump on her. And then prior to that, New York Stallions at Aqueduct, 7 Funks in the mud, 17th of December. She won by 1 quarter lengths, and from a tracking trip, she Closed up from nowhere. A very good run there. Won the main a miss before that at Aqueduct going on the mile on the main track quite easily. You know, and, and had a decent third uh, a month prior in the in the go in the Joe Gimma behind Gambling Girl who went on to have a great season so far. Uh, but coming here today, you know, I expect her to run a good race on the turf debut. I'm going to use her. You can't throw out the three horse either. Um, Midtown Lights. Uh, this. Um, uh, three year Colt by uh, Reddlesdale, Brad Cox trains, Manny Franco gets some outs. Um, hasn't been on the turf since October, where the horse ran at six sprungs at Aqua in the main special way, where she finished third by two and three quarter lengths. So I didn't think she ha ran half bad. She just needs something more that day. You know, in the debut at Aqua going six in the main special way, she finished fifth by two lengths. And again, she was with him early on. She got caught late, but she, you know, she needed the race for the experience. Since then, she uh, broke the main early December at Aqua on the slop quite nicely by uh, a quarter, one and a quarter lengths. Placed behind Le Tom Bents in the uh, in the New York Stallions in the fall uh, at Aqueduct, and then came back to run a, a very nice race in um, mid February at Aqueduct on the uh, uh, or excuse mid March at Aqueduct on the main track. Uh, you know, with a decent 73 buyer, like I think can win the, this race. Training well, I'll give this horse a shot on the ticket at four to one. Come back to the green stuff in a while, and I also think the nine horse stolen furniture from for Mark Cassie could get the job done. Had it nearly won here going six in a lounge race last month, where the horse just couldn't. Keep up late. Uh, and then prior to that, at Aqueduct in mid April in the main special weight, winning by a neck from a tracking trip, she took off clear with a nice 72 buyer. Another horse been on the debut, uh, been on the uh, the improve here. I'm going to use this horse 72 to end off the pick fours, uh, or to use in the pick fours. But to recap my selection for the eighth from Belmont, now it's the um, New York Stallions. Let's take the eight horse Le Bon Temps. 8397 Super, 839 in your multi race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.